Hello! Today you are going to learn how to play this very fun math game so that tomorrow you can teach it to your students and then they can play it. It's going to be super fun. And we are going to talk about the secret to making math practice fun. <laughs> are you ready? Give me a thumbs up on this live stream if you are ready and we will get started. Here we go. Hey, my name is Angie. Welcome to the live stream. Put your questions in the chat or if you're on the replay, put them in the comment section. Today we are playing Snowball Fight. It is a fun game. As you can see, it's a race to 10 or a race to 20. You are going to need a freebie, so stick around so that you can know uh, how, how, how to get that, all right? So let's go over and find out how to do that. Hopefully you can hear me good. If you can, let me know. This game, just like all the other games, and if you haven't seen the other games, this is number four in a eight part series to uh, give you some games for your classroom. Simple, put it in a page protector so you can play it again and again and again and again, because you can print it once and play it for actually years to come. And I think this is going to be one of those favorites. I mean, who doesn't like penguins? Let's go ahead and play race to 10 because it's basically the same as race to 20. Okay, so you need some simple things. You need a spinner, you need some dry erase markers, and that's it. If you want to use just a spinner that is a pencil and a paper clip, that's usually my go-to, but I found these cute little magnetic spinners and they're actually heavy enough to put here and spin, but I do have a little button magnet on the other end just to make sure it doesn't go flying across the room and uh, kindergarten and first grade students would probably make it go flying across the room, but who knows? That's one of the things we're gonna talk about is how to introduce this to your students, how to make it fun. So what's the first thing to make it fun? It's a game, right? <laughs> And the more you hype it up and the more exciting you can make it, the more fun they are going to, they're going to be excited to try it too, right? If you're excited about it, they're going to be excited about it. And I'm excited about it. So let's go ahead and spin. We're going to put these little stars right here. Let me push this up just a tish so you can see it. And they spin. Now, if they have a negative, of course, you're going to talk about some math concepts, forward, plus, backwards, minus, right? And how are they going to know how to play this game? And I would say introduce it during like a whole group time, morning meeting time before math, the regular math lesson, introduce it and do like a, um, student versus teacher or students versus teacher. They, they love students versus teacher, right? So introduce it that way. And you might be looking at this QR code right here and thinking, what in the world is that? That is, instead of doing directions that look like, I'm like, let me see here. Here's the directions right here. Here's the directions in your packet. Instead of doing the picture written directions, this is a video direction. So you can send this home for homework. You can make it for a sub. If you're a homeschool parent and you're like, uh, how do I play this game? There it is right there, kerchunk. So students spin and they move up and down. Now, if you want, and you're like, uh, minus two is just too much, you can pull this out of the page protector. And uh, so it's Red's turn now. Oof, big move. And one, two. And you can pull it out and 
make it any number you want or make the minuses pluses and so they get done more uh, in a timely manner let's put it that way I don't even remember whose turn it is anymore you can see how this might take a while to do okay so they go back and forth pretty soon somebody is going to be here and let's say the yellow person one so this is when your dry erase marker is going to come into play see these little snowballs down here when you win a round you get to x out a snowball so that um all when all three are x'd out then you can see who the win winner is i almost said winter i've got winter on the brain it's still winter where i live here is race to 20 and as you can see we have plus five minus five and all the things but if you wanted to do it a little bit differently you could um, construct your own spinner right there okay and depending on your students skill level you might want to alter that to make sure they're independent which brings us to the second secret the first one was make it a game the second secret is make it so that they're independent but how do you get them to be independent okay so we talked about first how you're going to introduce it as a whole group teacher versus students that's the i do i'm the teacher i'm teaching this even though i'm teaching it to the students they i'm still in control right then we do the we do as, a, as all the students so take this game make 10 if you have 20 students make 10 copies pair them up and do a few rounds that the whole group is doing it paired up right and then you're walking around you're listening in oh i'm really zeroing in on these two little yummies because they are uh probably going if anyone's going to have trouble with this game it's these two. So you're really listening. Um, are they getting it? That's when you're teaching them some more, kind of giving some remediation so that they can be totally independent for when they do the I do. The student does it by themselves at center time. Let's say you don't want to be teaching this game during center time. That's when you are doing your small group hardcore remediation for your students, right? Because that's the best time. That's the best time. What do you do with your students when you're doing that small group time? They are doing games like this, right? That's the best. Or if you want to, you have 10 games and your students um, are done with their math assignment, what do they do? Well, we have some games in our independent binder, right? So slip some in there just like that okay um the race to 20 same idea except they're racing to 20. this is like essentially a number line so if you have some um lessons that they're using number lines with this would be a perfect supplement for that okay i hope you like that. How do you get your freebie? What about the other freebies from the other games? Well, this freebie is down below. Make sure too that if you want to know more about stations, there is a link down below with a playlist for stations teaching you how to do stations in your classroom. An easy step-by-step everything you ever needed to know and if you have a question please put it in those videos because i answer every single every single question that comes in what are the other games just a little um preview that we have already done the freezy smeezy was the first one this is a phonics game there is a freebie for that we did a roll, write, and spin where we're comparing numbers. Um, there is buy a bear, which 
has two levels. Check that out. It gets really simple to extremely hard. And then another add-in challenge. Now, all of these games are available on my Teachers Pay Teachers, but they're also part of the Early Finisher Solution. So if you have the Early Finisher Solution, don't get them on the Teachers Pay Teachers. And of course, they're the full sets on those um, places. So if anyone has any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments so that we can get those um, figured out and answered. If you want next Sunday, because this is part of a series, subscribe because we're going to be doing another game called it's it's a favorite like hundreds and hundreds of people have downloaded this game before this sample this free game and actually i don't think it's even a sample i think it's the full full thing um next sunday we're going to do another live stream bring your questions come ready to learn some phonic skills and some movement because Kids love to move and they need their phonic skills and it's just a favorite. So, all right. If you are ready, we are ready to say goodbye. Remember, the creator of the universe loves you and I think you're pretty amazing too. Make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.